Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode of Vinnie's Vittles. This week we're making cream corn. And not just any cream corn, we're making Rudy's Barbecue Cream Corn. Now, we go to Texas to see our son several times a year, but we never miss going to Rudy's to eat lunch. The most amazing barbecue, best uh, baked beans, best potato salad, best corn, everything you can imagine, they do it up right. And I love their cream style corn, so I started looking around on the internet and found a recipe that looks very, very similar to what they do. And we're gonna give it a try today, and I know it's gonna be good. Now the ingredients that we're gonna be using today, as always, you can find in the description box below along with the quantities that we'll be using. But we're just gonna be using some salt and pepper, some sugar, some just regular frozen corn, some heavy whipping cream, some cream cheese, and some butter. And that's all it is. And we're gonna cook it in the slow cooker for about four hours on low. So let's get started putting it together. All right, guys, we started out by adding uh, five bags of corn, which equals about four pounds. So ever how you find it, that's how I found it was in smaller bags. Uh, you can use just any kind of whole kernel corn or a sweet corn if you can find it, it makes it even better. So what we've done, we took the cream cheese, we cut it into one inch squares and we cut the, cut the butter into one inch squares and we're just going to place it in the crock pot on top of the corn. And my hands are clean, I did wash them. And I'll wash them again here in just a minute. And we're just going to cover the top all the way around with that cream cheese. Now I will tell you this recipe is delicious. I tried it out this weekend for our church lunch, uh, social lunch that we had for um, our new youth minister. And I didn't bring none home. So it was a hit. So you might wanna try this for your covered dish suppers. Uh, this particular recipe will make about 12 servings. So you'll wanna make sure if you're making it for a smaller group, you know, you can cut this recipe in half and still be on the money. All right, so now we've added the cream cheese. Now we're just gonna kinda of stick the butter in there in different places. Then we're gonna come in and sprinkle our sugar across the top. It's not a lot of sugar, but we're just gonna sprinkle it in there. Then we're gonna add our salt and pepper. And again, salt and pepper is just to taste. And it doesn't call for a whole lot of either one. And here's the test. Can I pour this heavy whipping cream without spilling it? Hallelujah, I did it. And we're just gonna pour the heavy whipping cream over the top. Just like so. Then all we wanna do is cover it, put it on low, and let it cook for four hours, and it's gonna be uh, fantastic. I know you guys are gonna love it. So we'll see you back in a few hours. All right, guys, welcome back. It's been about four hours. The corn has been simmering there on low heat for all that time, and it smells incredible. I've got Shannon, our new media specialist, with me today, tasting for the first time on Vinnie's Vittles. So we're glad to have her with us today, and uh, let's give it a try, see what it tastes like. It looks pretty good. Oh. That's amazing. Mm. Wow. That is really, really good. You guys have got to try this recipe if you like cream corn. I promise it's not good for you, but it tastes really, really good. And I know you'll love it. As always, if you don't want to miss Vinny's Vittles, click that red box at the bottom to subscribe and ring that bell so you're always notified when Vinny's Vittles is back. And we'll see you next time on Vinny's Vittles. Thanks, Shannon. You're welcome. Bye, guys.